let's do in this one to show you guys how smooth see how to make dumpling i keep it simple it's just flour salt and water especially in soup you don't need to over season or overdo anything to your dumpling because the soup broth is going to give the dumpling the flavor if you're making the dumpling by itself to pair it with meat or something else or vegetable you can add a little bit more salt to bring out the flavor of the dumpling dumpling making for me is one of the most technical things that i have to learn on my own now i watched my mom and dad growing up making dumpling and i was like yeah it's not too bad my first time making dumpling guys everything spoil too much water in the dumpling it come like a porridge well plaka plaka i asked how to save the dumpling because they say you've got to add more flour to the dumpling to save it it was long gone guys you cannot save a dumpling when it's already runny it, at that point i could just make fritters with the dumpling that's how runny it is but over time i learned that with making dumpling you just need to add a small amount of water then you work in the water in the flour until it forms into a ball into a dough and then you knead another tip i learned too when making your dumpling and you want it to be smooth you let that dough sit for a few minutes if you're gonna make dumpling make the dumpling from early so the dough can sit and then when you're ready to shape the dumpling it makes it easy and your dumpling turn out to be so smooth and pretty you hear them talk about pretty dumpling in jamaica just try that method where when you make the dough you just let it sit and then after you shape your dumpling you will see the difference let me know if you try it all right guys time to make the dumpling so first flour now it all depends on how many people you make dumpling for or how big your soup pot be flour cornmeal put as much cornmeal as you want to me the more cornmeal you put the tighter your dumpling be make sure you mix that up then you get some salt don't have to put a lot of salt because like i said your soup is gonna give you the flavor so just make sure all of that is mixed through evenly before you start the kneading all right now normally them always make one look all in the center when you start and you just want to add a little bit of water and you just kind of scoop in your flour mixture in the water so you see it's starting to form these lumpy small lumps that's what you need after that add a little bit more water and you just bring it around in a circular motion so basically what you're doing is all the loose flour and cornmeal you're getting that to stick together and then after you start doing the big knead but we're not there yet water small circle that's it you see how the flour is the lumps are getting bigger that is what you want a bit of water here it is now this is where you see how this big one just form naturally based on the motion this is where now you're going to grab all everything and squeeze it together squeeze it together squeeze and turn see squeeze and turn and then you hold the flour this dough and you just wipe it around to get all that excess and once you're doing that then you use the palm of your hand and you just sink that in the middle of the dumpling you fold sink fold sink fold sink that's how you knead your dumpling 
So all this other loose flour, that's what you do. Bring it around to get up all the other loose flour. Once you do that, sink, fold, sink. Keep doing that until you have that motion. You can speed it up. Fall, sink, fall, sink. And all the other loose flour and cornmeal. Bring it around. Fall, sink. Fall and sink. Now, while this is happening, you just get a little bit more flour. Dash over it. And you do that same technique, fall and sink, fall and sink. Easiest way to make dumpling. Right now, you're a professional dumpling maker after this. Nobody can talk to you again. And you just keep doing that until you have a nice, Butter like this. Now, if you look at this, you can see that I need to add a little bit more flour just to make sure it's not coming off my fingers when I hold it. Because when you hold your dough, you don't want it to be sticky. So that's how you know that you should add a little bit more flour. You just roll that in and you fall and sink knead your flour apply that pressure while you are turning you're pushing and this is how you make your dumpling how to make dumpling 101 that's it and all this extra flour right there you just bring it around and get everything in. Perfect. Here it is. As you can see, when I'm holding my dough now, it's not sticking to my fingers. That's the kind of consistency you want. It's very soft, and then you can shape it and do what you do. So we're just going to let this sit for our 15 minutes. And then we get back to our soup. And then afterwards, I will show you how to make and shape your spinners. All right, guys. So now the dumpling set, as you can see. Look, you see how this smooth? Smooth. You can just twist it and turn it any way. Look there. That's what I'm talking about. Now it's ready to be shaped. So a lot of people, traditionally, people used to make like cartwheel dumpling. You can do it like this. Small cartwheel or big cartwheel depending. But I'm just doing this one to show you guys how smooth see how smooth it look when you make the dumpling set that's how it is but what we're going to make is called spinners right so you just take off a little piece and you just roll it just like that now you can make it thicker or slimmer but we're just going to go with this size. So let's do that and drop it in the pot. 